welcome back guys to Cheats of the Month. Um, so this month we're going to be doing things a little bit differently. Um, so we've talked a little bit about like, it's fall y'all. So it's my favorite season. Um, so I wanted to do something a little bit different. Uh, we're doing a cheddar apple pie. So that means the cheddar is going to be in the crust and the apple filling obviously. Um, because we just went and had like a fun adventure at Carter's Mountain, which is one of my favorite places on earth, especially in October and November. Because you can go apple picking. I mean, yes, it's great in the summer for peaches, but fall is my favorite. So I'm all about those apples. Um, <laughs> so we just got back from Carter's Mountain. Um, we got some apples and we're going to make a cheddar apple pie. So stay tuned and I'll link the recipe down in the description. Um, found it on Pinterest. Don't think that I'm any kind of fancy. Honestly, and you're just wait, we're gonna make a fancy crust, and the only reason that it's gonna be like that is because Allie and Katie are here to help me, because otherwise it would just be a burnt, sad mess. So, stay tuned, and can't wait to try it and show you guys, and yeah, enjoy. So, for the crust, we start with two and a half cups of all-purpose flour, three tablespoons of semolina flour, 3 fourths teaspoon of salt, and then 14 tablespoons of cold butter cubed, half a cup of shredded aged sharp cheddar cheese, and then 10 to 12 tablespoons of ice water and you pour that in and just blend it in gently and just a little bit at a time because you don't want to make just a big goop. Um, then you fold it into a ball and then have that after everything's nice and blended. Get two ball shapes, flatten them out, and then wrap them up so that we can store these in the fridge. And those get stored for about 30 minutes or overnight, depending on how you wanna do it. For this one, we just did it for about 30 minutes to an hour. Now for our filling. Eight large Honeycrisp apples peeled and cut into 3 4 inch pieces. So it's going to be about 12 cups. You need a half a cup butter, cubed. Uh, it has a third a cup sugar, three tablespoons brown sugar, three tablespoons all-purpose flour, one large egg, one tablespoon water, and just mix that all up. So for the butter gets melted in the oven for five to seven minutes or until golden brown and and stir in the apples and sugars and bring it all to a boil. Uh, I didn't really look to see if it was boiling, mostly I just let it sit. And Once it's ready, take out that beautiful, beautiful filling. It smells amazing. Layer it all in and ta-da! Magic pie with magic pie crust. Lattice crust, it's magic and made of cheese and apples. Ta-da! I don't know. <laughs> and there we have it. Our beautiful, beautiful cheddar apple pie made with love and, well, you'll see the secret ingredient later. Let's cut this bad boy up. in my lifetime before this and it was a cherry pie and it took a long time too and mm -hmm. it's just it's a lot of work it's a long process yeah doing it from scratch yeah. <laughs> so maybe one every two years yeah <laughs> the 
trust me, we'll be included for this. Mm -hmm. So, get out there and make your cheddar crust pie. Do it. We believe in you. Thanks, guys. See you next time. And. Lens flare. Ah! That'll be a good shot. Yeah.